All right, guys, so uh, big session today. So the plan is, in the morning, we're gonna head down the track, um, do a speed session. I think it'll probably be 800 or Ks, just um, see what the other guys fancy doing. Um, the last few weeks I've done 800, so maybe Ks, but to be honest, I'm not really too bothered, both do the same thing. Um, then come back, quickly have some to eat, and then the main part is I've got a bike race today. So uh, yeah, it'll be good to get the proper race bike out and um, have a burn up on that. It's a 10 mile TT. I've never done the course before. It's about 25, 30 miles, well actually about 35 miles away from here. So it's a bit of a drive for um, for a short race, but um, Phil, powerful pension is gonna come with me um, and we're gonna just see what we got really and uh, use it as a bit of a tune up race for uh, events that are coming up. And then off the bike, we're gonna do a bit of a tempo. So I'll probably do 6K off the bike, um, try and hold 320 to 330K pace. Um, Phil will probably do, I don't know, 3 or 4K, something like that, because uh, he's training for a sprint triathlon. So it's going to be uh, a tough day. Not a massive amount of volume. Track session, probably about 14, 15K, including the warm-up cool-down. Uh, 10 mile TT, but we'll do a bit of riding to warm up, wrecking the course. That'll probably be about 30 miles, so about 50K. And then um, tempo off the bike, 6K, short cool-down of probably about... 8 or 9k, you know, eight, to make it 8 or 9k in total. Um, so it'd be nearly 25k's of running, which for me is actually a decent amount in the day. Like my long runs at the moment are probably about 21, 22k. So yeah, it's a decent day of running. Um, good time trial in there as well. So we'll see how, see what the power's like, see what the speeds, what kind of speed I'm holding. And um, yeah, we'll see uh, see if I'm in the K hole after I finished all them sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you coming for a run, Ted? You coming for a run? You coming? Alright then, come on Ted, let's go. You ready Ted? Jet, you're gonna take Phil today, Ted? You got it in you? Training. I don't think he has to be honest. Phil's, Phil's a beast. He's gotta train hard, he's got a date with a collie coming up and he's uh, over 5k in you Ted. Like he's been challenged, so he wants to scalp a collie. Like um, Make the Lars as proud, don't you, mate? Like people, uh, people aren't betting against, aren't betting for you, are they? The, mon the smart money's going on the collie, but he likes to be the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> like get near there, to that part. That's when it'll start kicking off. Make a noise, Ted, if you're ready for a track session. <laughs> I'll do it when we get to the park. Make a noise, Ted, if you're ready for the track session. <laughs> not ready, not ready today. Come on, Ted. Sing the chorus. <laughs> Told you it wasn't ready. <laughs> Come on, Ted. That's it. <laughs> that's it, Ted. Yeah, you like this, don't you? <laughs> Go on, sing the chorus for me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sing it, Ted. <laughs> He's got such a such a lovely voice, isn't he? Like real melody to it. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Make some noise, Ted, if you're going to put that collie in his place. Well trained Lars is going to beat an untrained collie. <laughs> hey Phil, you can't believe it that he's 81 and he's still able to do track sessions. <laughs> <laughs> he's 82, isn't it, he was, he's, been a, he's been around since Father Christmas was actually around before he passed away. <laughs> <laughs> you trained him, didn't you? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's make a move then, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, and that forces you. Get some tunes on, mate. Get pumping. I know yeah. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm sweating today. The last few times I've been here, it's been boiling. I mean, yeah. uh, freezing, isn't it? Like. Yeah. La um, yeah. Last week. Was... Last week it was like frozen, wasn't it? And it just be frosted. Thawed off, didn't it? Got a mile to go in there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies in the place with style and Salami <laughs> Yeah, about that, yeah. Life 14, 630. We've got seven sessions. Eight, eight. Off a four minute turnaround. So, whatever you're doing under four minutes is your recovery. For us three, 
Phil and Ross are doing it off four minute 30 and then four 400s, um, 90 second, uh, 60 seconds rest in between. Just looking to hit slightly quicker than you'd for the eight, so nothing massive. The eight to the main bit, really. I'm a Twenty one, two twenty seven. How many is that for? Yeah, halfway. Hit two, two twenty seven, yeah, two twenty eight. Your pacing is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> One minute is quick, and next minute it's like the brakes are going on over there. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what's going on. I mean, you're right. You just gotta go by feel. Yeah, yeah. Don't no. worry about looking at that watch. Sure? Just go, yeah, just go at what feels okay. a nice pace. I reckon that watch probably stop you from hitting. I only looked at it once. Yeah. My time's all been real consistent. All right, we'll, we'll try and just go by feel. The next time as I long as you feel like you're working the right effort, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter what the fucking watch says. Fine, yeah, yeah. The watch is just good to look back on. Yeah. But you want to listen to the beat of your heart, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll leave this one. I reckon it'll be between a 226 and 227 something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Without even looking at it, I won't even look at it I once. Won't. No. I won't look as well. Don't look. You never know, you might be holding yourself back by looking. <laughs> because you're going at what feels like a yeah, nice yeah, pace yeah. and then you look and... So that was halfway, wasn't it? Halfway, yeah. yeah. Ten seconds. You're right. Yeah. Go on. What was that? Oh, fucking shit. Shit. <laughs> That's the fastest time so far. Pardon? What's your fastest time so far? Oh, I'm not hearing anything really. What are you going for? <laughs> uh, three tens, but see yeah, I'm over that, so just keep plodding away. <laughs> <laughs> Lap 27, 224. <sighs> that was that, that was the last one, right? One more. Oh, right. Probably one of your best ones yet, isn't it? Eight hundred. That was my best, yeah. Yeah. No, we've got one, one more. more. And then we've got four hundreds afterwards, so keep it going. How are you feeling, mate? Oh, a bit tired. <laughs> I've had a few days off <laughs> and unhealthy eating, so unhealthy. Been a little bit rough. <laughs> what have you been eating? Domino's. KFC, Nando's and McDonald's. Oh, hell yeah. Past three days. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, burger things nice when you get off. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want me to leave this or do you want to leave it? You can leave it because it's your session. Yeah, mate. You... Well, if you want to, you can. I don't mind. Like, the pace you're hitting is good anyway. Yeah. I'll keep it the same. I'll go for it. Don't look at your again. That thing holds you back. Yeah. It's the last one anyway, so... And then a few, two, four hundreds, but we're just aim for 71, 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got to be a match fast, yeah. We'll just, how, many, how many fours do you want to do? Four. Four, three, two, three. Go on, Nathan. Yeah, the last one here. Yeah, last one. <laughs> Well, maybe I should have done that. Got fours now. 2.21 at the end. Which is good on this. Feeling? Yeah, oh. Oh. You can keep it the same pace. Slow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try and hit 70, 71s. Yeah. How are you feeling, Jack? Uh, pretty good. But we've done this session now. Last four weeks in a row. And... Uh, times are the best this week so definitely a big sign of improvement it's been getting better every week I think my average is probably six seconds and eight better than when I started four weeks ago that's good so well after that definitely coming on yeah, go on Phil go on mate go on mate 
And then for the last one. How do you keep so fit at your age? Oh, I've never stopped. I've, I've always yeah, you've been kept fit all your life, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I was a young boy, football and, and stuff. I think I got into running like when I was about 30. Um, sort of mixing it with football. And then obviously as you get older, I, I switched to road running. Yeah. Uh, you still play football? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'd like to. I still f I feel like I could. But I've started playing. Yeah, I'd, just, I'd probably, just um, myself, but... I'd probably end up getting injured. It's too easy to pick up an injury in the like now. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's bad enough run wise, you know. Always like little niggles. But there you go. Is it the last one? Last one. Hi, guys. This is a nice Mark 37. 106. That's it. Nice. Oh. The last one. Yeah. Not bad on here. On the and, cinder. And raining. Yeah. Oh. Good session. Yeah, it's tough. So, A8. I think probably average yeah. 226. Do you reckon we have a 226 A8? Yeah, 226. We started yeah, off probably. slow, we got a lot faster. Yeah, we started off 228 and then... Last three were 224, yeah. 224, 221. Yeah. So, good, good yeah. speed on this. No, oh, yeah. Bearing in mind, this track's 402 metres, a quarter of a mile, so... Yeah. For the, at that speed, that's about half to three quarters of a second, that is. That, so that would yeah. have been a 220 on trail. Oh, yeah. And then uh, 400 went 79, uh, 71, 69, 69 yeah. and then 66. Good. So, yeah. pretty yeah, decent. It's yeah, 245 yeah. k pace that last one on this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, not bad. Yeah, no. <laughs> decent <laughs> set. Good, yeah. Just warming up there for the time trial effort we're going to do. Decided not to go to the uh, proper time trial that I was entered into because the weather was a bit grim. And it was an hour and a quarter drive there, so I didn't really fancy a two and a half hour round trip to potentially ride in the rain. So the others are coming here. We're going to drive out to a local TT course that I've done quite a few times before. Um, well, I'm going to ride out to it. It's only 20 minutes away, and then uh, have a crack round there. See um, how the legs are feeling. See what kind of power speed I get be a good little test and then uh, do a 6k run off the bike uh, around or a little bit quicker than what I'd probably hold if I was to do say one of them 100k races which are 18k off the bike uh, and obviously after the track session I think if I hold a pace comfortably already haven't done 15 16k in a hard TT effort it's probably quite a realistic pace to aim for. Phil's coming as well. He's going to do a short run because he's training for a 5k run off the bike. And Techno's coming. He's going to uh, pace me on the bike again, get some tunes pumping, and uh, yeah, get another decent session bank today. That'll uh, probably help boost the fitness ahead of the first races of the season. So, Joe. What's the most challenging aspect of being a professional triathlete? Uh, well, that's a good one. Probably trying to fit all the training in. And uh, especially when you've got other commitments that you might want to go to. Going out with your mates, feeling a bit tired, not wanting to do it. You know, keep them motivated. And just literally keeping a high volume of consistent, smart training going for a long period of time because you, if you're not consistent you won't get the results and regardless of what comes up it might be something that's avoidable or completely non-avoidable but at the end of the day it doesn't matter with your performance if you're not consistent with the training you're not going to get the results so being consistent is the most important and hardest thing I would say been dropped on the old San Remo <laughs> Cavendish British uh, sprinter, been, just been dropped, Milan San Remo. 
easiest classic to ride, hardest to win they reckon. 290 something kilometers, first big one of the year. One day you might be there, Tyler. <laughs> one day. I always thought that might be something you'd be interested in, doing like a few drives like that. I would like to do it, it'd be good fun. So obviously you've done the 12 hour time trial, I mean that's the same kind of distance, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's dead complete. Different though this. You've got to be in a team. Punchy. Doesn't do it justice really, how hard they're probably riding. But ultimately I wouldn't want to make them look bad. Yeah, you're one of the best cyclists <laughs> on the planet, mate. Now these guys, this is like a wear and down process for 280k and then two big burn ups a crazy descent and a sprint to the line <laughs> yeah so any bottle cages on the TT bike so I'm going to take this and... well yeah I don't really like these but I had quite a slim one I put on there so having a bit of a chat on the way here I asked uh, Phil, what's the minimum you need to dust me off in the 10 mile TT? And we come up with, uh, what did we come up with? Well, you said two minutes. And he, and you, and he reckoned one minute 45. <laughs> he said he reckoned he only needs one minute 45, didn't you? Oh, I think that's a mistake, but... What do you reckon then? What do you reckon you need? Uh, minimum to hold me off for that. I've no idea. And then well, that's the can... handicap. Yeah. What do you want, a minute 45, two minutes? Uh, we'll say two, and two, and two, two. two minutes. All right, two, he reckoned two minutes. And uh, yeah, we'll start just up here. Pause the video if you're watching now, right in the comment section. Will two minutes be enough for Phil to hold me off? Do you think he only needed 30 seconds? Did I need to start before Phil, like to hold him off? Like, what do you reckon? Like, let's, uh, let's get your thoughts before the uh, TT's done. What do you reckon, Mark? Will two minutes be enough for him? We did yeah, a five mile. Two minutes will be enough. We did a five mile around, um, around Skeet's Loop. And I gave him a minute and 15, I think, and I didn't catch him. I only put 30 seconds, but I was on a gravel bike. He was on a road bike. Yeah, yeah. This time we're both on similar spec bikes. So yeah. I... Massive challenge, Phil. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, dear. I'll have Pressure's a go. on. I'll yeah. have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. He's having a... Go. Underestimated you there, mate. Is I'll sort that out. How was that? Oh, that's tough. I underestimated him. <sighs> Did that, that guy in the Audi come and say something to you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he might do. Yeah, because. Did you hear what he said? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, you got a death wish. <laughs> he said, no, I'm in a fucking hurry. <laughs> I just said, oh, yeah, all right, all right, and he, he just cleared did you, off. Did you know uh, it was me coming back? No, I didn't. I thought it was someone else. That's why I said, yeah, all right, to you. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised when you saw me? I gave you uh, no. a joke. No. Did you? Yeah, yeah. fucking big time. Huh? <laughs> I should have done one, but I didn't even think. I was going to shout at him because of the junk out. I thought there was someone else like abusing me. <laughs> 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 Yeah, treat yourselves to a 6k swim after this. <laughs> <laughs> 
314. Okay. Just finished. Just under 20 minutes for 6K. Well chuffed. Felt comfortable. Could have quite easily carried it on for longer. So, yeah, buzzing. 319K pace. Uh, picked up. I think last 3K, probably 316s. Um, yeah, not feeling too much trouble. So, well chuffed with that. That's the day pretty much finished. We're just going to ride home. What pace did you do? Shit. Did you? Yeah. You're a machine though. Yeah. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't know. I did you get your case splits coming? Yeah, I've got it all on the watch. Were well, they under 415? First one was. Yeah. And then faded. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He's uh, feeling a bit tired. Mm. That's an 8800 what so didn't. Eight <laughs> 8800s in the morning and in the run. Bet it beats painting and decorating though, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm a retired man. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the session done. We're just going to spin home and then we're going to head to the pool and do uh, a 6k swim set. So, catch you later. There's no point finishing uh, filming the swim because not much happens and uh, we don't want to scare the uh, young uh, viewers with our technique. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it a day there. See you later guys.